So, you switch to another account, and then turned off your PS Vita, and then when you turned it back on, you agree with this message. And so you have to format your memory card. Well, what if I told you there's actually a really easy way to get around this message, but there's a little problem. It, it only works if you have a PS Vita 2000 model, you know, ones with the one gigabyte internal storage. Yeah, that's the problem. It only works with those, but you can do it. So, all you gotta do, alright, is just remove the memory card. Alright, I hit, okay. And it's gonna reboot. And hopefully you don't actually use your one gigabyte internal memory, because if you do, um, this won't work. But if you don't, which I'm guessing most of you don't, most of you probably use some sort of memory card. Um, if you don't use it, then, yeah. So now I get the message again. This is because I have actually turned my VFL memory card in there before. But I don't have anything actually useful on there. Um, it's just to be sure you can take out your memory card. Um, Alright, this is, um, I already know what this is for. Here you go, I've taken out my memory card. Alright, so, so it's good. if I click format, it's only going, it's only going to format the, um, the one gigabyte internal storage. So I'm just going to do that. Um, if you, like I said, if you actually use the one gigabyte internal storage, you might, you can do pretty much do the same thing as by inserting a memory card, but you probably don't have one, because if you had a memory card, you wouldn't be using a one gigabyte internal storage. So, yeah. So it's going to update database, and then it's going to boot me into the, um, device. Alright, and there we go. Now, all we need to do is install hidden applications onto the one gigabyte internal storage. So I'm just going to unplug this and plug into my PSV there. And now that's plugged in. I'm going to go to my PC and start using there. So I'll go into Content Manager, Copy Contents, PC the Vito, this Applications, PS Vito, Yoi Call, oh Yoi Call is showing up, that's because I forgot to tell you to refresh the database. So you just want to go over to your system tray, welcome to the mouse, it's on over to your system tray, QCMA. Refresh database. Okay, now it will work. Forgot to tell you that important thing. Yep, okay, there we go. It doesn't show up, just um, refresh your database in QCMA. It'll, it'll fix the problem. Alright, now I just want to copy it to your system. Now that's done. Now I'm going to head over and switch, and use it to switch to my account by clicking run, sign up app, and then doing the whole turning off at the right time. But it's being a pain in the ass, so I'll cut back to once it's working, to once it works. Alright, so I'm just connecting, and there we go. I just switched back to my main account, so now that's done, you just want to put your memory card back in. And it will no longer have that error because now you're on your main account. So let's just quickly do that. It's a pain in the ass putting these memory cards in. But yeah, you can't even see what I'm doing, but I am putting my memory card back in. I'll just how the hell put these memory cards in, okay? Especially with one hand. Okay, I just put the memory card back in, so I'm just gonna click yes. 
that should reboot back into my thing without me needing to format my memory card. Because I took it out in memory card and used the one gigabyte internal storage um, that comes with the um, PS PS Vita 2000, and then I um, p installed it in an application, switched back my main account, and now I'm gonna kick this, and it's going to update the database, and it's going to go back into his main, back into the main account, and it's not gonna show that um that annoying you have signed into the wrong account, blah blah blah. Please format the memory card. Yeah, it's just gonna get you in because you're on the wide account now. And this is how you do it on the PSP PSV 2000. There is a method of doing it on the PSV 1000, which, which I might get into at some point. It's kind of annoying and a pain in the ass to do, but you can it can be done on the PSV 1000 as well. So I will make a video on that. It's probably tomorrow or today, sometime. But as you can see, I just inserted my memory card, and because I switched back my main account back when the memory card wasn't inserted, um, using a one gigabyte internal storage. As you can see, all my content is here. My order has been messed up a tiny bit, but it's not something I can't easily fix. I just need to move you to the right place. And I need to move you to the right place. And that goes there. That goes there, actually. Okay, there we go. All fixed. No more error about... No more error about, um, being on the wrong account. And all good, and left to format the memory card. Um, however, I did format the 1GB internal storage on my device. So if you do have something on that, um, just stay tuned for the, um... If you do something on the um, one gigabyte internal storage you would like to keep, um, just stay tuned for the um, what's it called? Stay tuned for the uh, PS Vita 1000 video because we do it on the PS Vita 2000. You can get around having to format the um, you can form you can get around having to format the one gigabyte internal storage. That won't be right, you guys. But for most people, you probably have a memory card, so you're fine. Anyway, that's about it for this video. Thank you all for watching. This has been Soroko. Goodbye. Bye.